know, I, I'm sure you guys have some idea of what these boards are. Um, we're very excited in Intel's next generation uh, processors. You know, obviously they haven't launched yet, so I can't talk a whole lot about them. But from what we've seen so far in terms of features and performance, um, we're definitely confident that our customers are going to be interested in these products and are definitely going to want to upgrade their motherboards. Um, with that said, we've been doing a lot of testing, a lot of debugging. Um, we've actually, I stole these from the engineering department, so I'm sorry, Raymond. <laughs> um, so, so we've been doing a lot of testing. We're going to be 100% ready for launch time. I can't say when that is, um, but we've been doing a lot of testing. We even have High Cookie, who's been sitting with some LN2 tanks, uh, putting these boards through their paces, and we're really excited about it. Um, we're going to have, like I said, at launch, we're going to have a full range of our motherboard products ready to go. And we're going to be doing a really quick, quick transition to this, this next uh, segment. So we're really excited, and I want to quickly just go through and introduce some of them one by one. <coughs> so this first board over, yeah. over yeah. here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my order's all messed up. Um, as you can see, this one's our G1 Sniper 3 motherboard. So we were really excited last year being a part of CES. Uh, a lot of you guys were here at our event. We actually launched this new gaming platform. Um, we're super excited and we're super glad to be able to bring the, this sort of gaming features uh, for this past year and continue along this trend, uh, tradition. This motherboard right here, this is going to be our highest end for this new platform. Um, we have a lot of really unique features. Um, one of them I want to quickly mention is this is the world's first motherboard that's going to feature uh, uh, Qualcomm Atheros's uh, Killer E2201 uh, chip. Um, they were actually used to be Bigfoot Networks. They bought out Bigfoot Networks. And this is actually a dual LAN um, motherboard. So this is also going to have uh, Intel NIC on it as well. So dual LAN. Um, we also have, this is the fir world's first motherboard to feature uh, Creative's Soundcore 3D, their new uh, audio processor. Um, so definitely we're keeping the same feature sets. This is a four-way SLI board or Crossfire board. Um, so we're definitely really excited about that. And next, I want to show this guy right here. And I just want to also mention, I took these from engineering department. So as you'll notice, the heat sink design is not the final. Um, we definitely want to keep some, some of our uh, you know, secrets for the launch date. But we did do some mock-ups for you guys back here that you can actually get a, a better I idea of what our um, goal is for this, these platforms. So this next board, I know a lot of you guys have been interested in asking smaller form factors uh, uh, PCs. Um, this one is our G1 Sniper 3 uh, M3. Um, this is a micro ATX board. Um, we definitely uh, are glad to be able to bring this form factor for gamers because you know a lot of gamers have LAN events, they need to have a portable PC, they need to bring it with them, and a lot of people have been asking for this form factor for gaming. So we put a lot of features on this motherboard, it's a very small size, and we're really excited about it. And then next, of course, we have our full range of motherboards. You know, uh, we normally do our product segmenting by numbers, and you guys all know our number scheme. Um, our f highest uh, is going to be our UD5, so this is the Z77X uh, UD5H. Um, this is going to be, that, like I said, the highest in, in that range or platform. So we definitely have been doing a lot of things that um, we think our end users are going to be excited for. Um, on all of our series, uh, this new platform, we're going to include MSATA on board. So as you can see, you have MSATA here. Um, we've also done a lot of features that we've had for our overclocking motherboards, and we've put them on board as well. So we have our dual BIOS. We actually have onboard dip switches to, to switch between the BIOSes. We've got power buttons, clear CMOS, reset. Um, we also have debug uh, LEDs on all of the boards as well as voltage read points for the different components. So this is our UD5. Um, we're definitely excited about this guy. And throughout the range, um, we also have the UD3H, um, Z77X UD3H motherboard. 
So again, this has a lot of the same features that I just mentioned and some of the features that I can't. <laughs> and then, in addition to that, we also have our um, B75D3H, uh, um, B75M uh, D3H, sorry. Um, this is going to be a new segment that we're really going to be focusing on heavily this year. Um, Intel has done some amazing things in terms of remote management for, for PCs, especially for small businesses. Now we're talking businesses that have maybe one to six PCs. So it's critical for these people, these businesses, to be able to remote access their devices or their PCs, um, fix any problems that the PCs are having, update any software, and do that remotely without having to have some IT guy on site, because that costs a lot of money. So definitely we're looking for this platform to really push a lot of uh, cost savings for small businesses. So as you'll see, this is going to be a, a really uh, heavy focus um, platform for us. So these are just some of the motherboards that we're going to have. There's going to be some other surprises, and obviously I can't talk about anything too specifically. But again, you guys are the world's first people outside of our company to actually lay your hands on these boards. So I think we'll pass them around, let you guys take a lot of pictures, and uh, thank you for your time. Thank you.